Hey everybody, it's Rara, and welcome back to some more Pikmin 2! In the last one, we completed the whole of Heroes, and we only have one cave remaining. But, in this one, we're going back to the Whistle Wild to get most of the remaining above ground treasures, and hopefully we'll be done with 4 out of 5 by the end of the day. And then, that'll be, that'll be cool! I don't know what happens next. <laughs> well, I guess we'll find out. Alright, so on this day, just in case we need whites, we'll bring out one white. <laughs> Just in case I lose my party, I want to have still this one left. And we'll bring maybe uh, 10 purples. Good, they're all flowers. I got that 30 red game going. We don't have a lot of Pikmin. I don't know if you remembered last episode, but we didn't have a lot of Pikmin to our name, so... Yeah, we just gotta make do with a very small Pikmin squad today. And I, I guess we're gonna be taking 86 for this. I don't know where the remaining treasures are. I know we got one, and there's another. And we're gonna try to find the rest, I suppose. But it's weird that we've already explored so much of this area. Or at least it feels like that, but I just can't find that many. Oh. Oh, right, there's a poison gate over here. A black bramble poison gate. We only have one, two, I mean, two existing white Pikmin. You think? Buddy, you think you're up to the task? <laughs> you think you can possibly get that done by the end of the day? Oh my god, what what the hell, man? How do we end up like this with only two whites? I don't know. I don't know, let's just go over here to where this withering blowhog is. Oh shit, no. Wait, there's a creepy chrysanthemum right there. Whoops, whoops, oh goodness, oh goodness, this is almost real bad. That was almost real bad. Uh, I guess we have to explore this way for more stuff. There's the hole of heroes. Let's go about this the right way. Get the chrysanthemum. Let's get us a, yeah, let's kill us, a, let's murder us a chrysanthemum. Come on. Come on. Come on, guys. Guys, 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 guys. Boys, pick boys, pick boys, pick boys. Okay, nice, nice. No, run, run, run. I don't, oh, I don't know how he didn't get nobody there, but we're lucky. We're lucky he didn't. Oh, shit, run. Get up, bring him down. Nice, swarm him, swarm him. Huge? Oh, there's a part near here. Somewhere. Oh, is this like the first area of the game? This my oh, it is! Nice, that's what the Whistle Wild becomes. Very cool. Let's get this chrysanthemum. No! Oh, come on! No! Pikmin! 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 I got a purple! I got a purple! I got a purple boy! Okay, yeah, Blowhog, you've had, you've had your fun. Stop it. Stop it. Stop blowing my boys. Ugh. Wham down. Get up. Get up. Can we just like leave that chrysanthemum alone too? I don't want to deal with it. Oh no, this one has a part. Okay. Here. Let's kill it. Let's kill it. Stun him. Stun him. Yes, we got the stun. Finally. Finally. <laughs> Huge. Is that not where the part is? I don't know. Let's, let's start carrying the stuff back for more Pikmin numbers, though. Because that will this will this will all definitely help. Okay, where is that ship part, though? Wait, the, it's leaving? Oh, that! The, it dropped a little nut thing! Okay, well, that's one of the ship parts. Alright, just two more to find, I guess. We're gonna get all these freaking corpses, raise up our, raise up our Pikmin numbers a bit. I feel like that's like somewhat evenly dispersed, but maybe the blues are getting the most out of this? Honestly, I can't tell. It doesn't matter. We just need more Pikmin. What else is left in the... in out here? I don't see no treasure over there. Oh, there's that mushroom. Okay, so we're gonna need whites to break down that and we can get that mushroom. Cool, good to know. Anything up here? I didn't even think we'd get up there, but nice. Nope. Oh, a couple Pikmin got left behind. Call me, boys. We're going adventuring. Anything over here? Up this thing? No. So there's the mushroom, and then there's the dumbbell, but there's one more treasure that we gotta find. Our Pikmin numbers are growing. <laughs> He's really trying. Keep going, buddy. Oh, it's another nut. The armored nut. Yeah, boy. Armored nut. Okay. Any ship parts over, or treasures over here? No? Game, I'm at a loss. 
<laughs> I am at a loss. This one's taking a while to get carried back. This is nice. Now it's going to the reds. I wanted that. Uh, treasures, treasures, treasures. We look around. Maybe there's something over here I forgot. I did kind of just like skip past this part. This, uh, this whole area. And the thing is, is that like, you know, over here was the acorn. And then up there is the, the hole of heroes, right? Let's just keep our eyes peeled for stuff. But the hole of heroes drops us down in that same little spot, so I'm kind of confused. Yeah, I see that mushroom. Is there something else over there? Oh, maybe it's in one of those enemies. Maybe? C could be? But I feel like the treasure radar would be reacting more violently. And it seems like it's only getting close because of the mushrooms over there. And, like the needle's ticking up because of that th the thing. Nice, we're at 161 Pikmin now. So we've got about 55 blues, 57 reds, and 26 yellows. <laughs> kind of neglected the yellows there, but it is what it is. I have no idea where that final ship part could be. I think I'm gonna look up a, a guide really fast, or just, yeah, look it up where it is. Okay, so apparently the final treasure is in an orange bulb orb past the gate. It's like what I thought, is in one of the enemies right over there. So we can't get that treasure. <laughs> Losing all but like, you know, one of our white Pikmin has proven to be not super great for us, in fact. Who would have thought? I think I'm gonna have to end the day here. I probably just like end early, go and collect like a bunch of white and purple Pikmin at somewhere else, and then come back and get all the final treasures, and then the final area. <sighs> okay, where's the wait? Where's the final Pikmin? Why, why are we missing one? Why why are, we, why are we missing a Pikmin? I'm looking around the whole map for a tiny little colorful dot. Well, wherever it is, it's dead to me now. I am going to look up if there's any caves here in. Either the Cavern of Chaos or the Hole of Heroes that can give me white Pikmin. Okay, so apparently the Cavern of Chaos to sub-level 5 has a resting floor, which has both an ivory and a violet candy pop bud, so we're definitely going to want to use that, and we can even leave on that and kind of grind. So, here's the plan. Let's put everybody away. No, okay, stop that, stop that. Oh, wait a minute, that white Pikmin's still working on the wall! That's where he is. Oh, Jesus. Let's put every Pikmin away. Okay, I'm gonna go collect the white Pikmin really fast. Hey buddy, you making any progress on the wall? No? Okay, well that sucks. Actually, I don't think I want to do this in the Cavern of Chaos. We're just gonna end the day. We're just gonna go to Sunset here because I feel like there are sub-levels where I'm gonna have to use Pikmin to get out and I am scared. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna go and grind in a, in a better cave. We got the nut. We got some Pikmin numbers up. Yay! Oh, Louie's grandma again. Remember the hill near our house, Louie? You didn't like being outside as a kid, so I took you there to, to learn to love plants. We ate a bug or two as we went. Lovely fall memory. Yay. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to the Valley of Repose. And we're gonna grind the subterranean complex for <laughs> white and purple Pikmin. And on top of that, we're just gonna grab some of our regular Pikmin numbers too. So I'll just we'll start off by taking out uh, just some Pikmin of each kind. Okay, nice. How many yellows do we have now? Thirty-six. Okay. So we're not gonna use yellows for this. We're gonna put them away. Uh, there we go. We're gonna use some reds for this. So we're gonna put away everything but like twenty-ish reds, and then I will see y'all in the subterranean. A uh, complex. Okay, here's our first violet bud. Now we don't need a hundred whites like we do purples, but I think, you know, to finish out those last two black gates in one day, we'll probably want like 40 of them, hope, probably, maybe even more. I don't know. It sounds like not much, but we could break down two gates in one day with about 40 whites, especially if I supercharge them since they have tons of red spray. But that's it for this floor. Oh, nice. There are 15 more whites in this one too. Now we're not really aiming for purples on this day, necessarily. I just kind of want white Pikmin for now. I was kind of hoping to find some Queen Candy Pop Buds in here, and maybe we will along the, along the journey. Here's hoping. Oh god, this floor. <laughs> I remember this floor. Oh yeah, I... I remember this floor. Oh! <laughs> look at him, look at him creeping, bro, look at him creeping! 
Okay, here we are at level 8. You probably remember this floor because there's three Violet Candy Pop Buds here. I didn't know there was actually four Ivory Buds in this cave, though. That's wild. And there's two Queen Buds, and you know, that's actually kind of perfect since we have two Red Pikmin left. I guess we'll just use them to make more Red Pikmin. And we'll turn those Red Pikmin into Purples. Oh, Red Spray. Okay. <laughs> Even more Red Spray. Kinda wish it was purple spray, but anyways. Uh, but yeah, so we're gonna, just gonna keep repeating that cycle of bringing like 22 reds and leaving with 20 whites and 15 purples. Right here at sub level 8, we can just leave, so... I'm just gonna keep repeating this. Although I'll probably stop with the whites after like the next two trips when we have like 60 of them. But we'll keep going with the purples until we have 100. And hopefully we can get that all done by today. We don't have enough reds to keep sustaining it like this many trips, so we'll probably need to build up our Pikmin numbers at some point in the day. Nice, purple spray. Okay, you know what? We're running out of red Pikmin, so let's start using blues now. Alright, and that's the last time I'm going in for white Pikmin. Now all we need to do is just focus on our purple numbers, which are at, what, 66 now? Nice, we have them pretty even with our whites. That's probably all the white Pikmin will all birth for the rest of the game, let's be real. 66 purples. I guess yellow? Because there's no more electric gates in the game, right? So, yellow are next to... die. No! Well, okay, here we go, this is it. <laughs> the final Pikmin that are becoming purple Pikmin. I've only been recording for over an hour now. So, yeah, this is pretty cathartic. And you know what? That puts us at like 106 purple Pikmin. I'm not even gonna convert the last yellows into purples. I'm just gonna make more yellow yellow Pikmin because we're kind of low on them and I don't want to sacrifice them anymore. <laughs> oh, and finally some purple spray. I thought you couldn't get purple spray in this cave or something, but uh, yeah, it was just giving me only red spray. I didn't even catch and glitch the red spray because we have so much. I think we have all the spray we're gonna need to beat the game now. <laughs> in fact, we might even have too much, I don't know. Then again, I have said that in the past and, um... You know, kind of ran out. Oh, more red spray, okay. Oh, finally it's over. So this episode is like, well over an hour now and I don't know how much we've done. <laughs> I feel like most of this has just been grinding for the thing, but as you can see, 106 purples now. And how many, how many yellow Pikmin? Thir 32, okay. Let's just get final counts here and see what we got. 269 Pikmin, that is the most Pikmin I've ever had. Let's see. 106 purples, 62 whites, and at least 30 of every kind. Yeah, let's just, let's just get some Pikmin out and build up our numbers as much as we can for the re remaining like five, six minutes we have. Oh, we don't have a lot of flower reds. All of our yellow should be flowers pretty much. Same with our blues, I think. And uh, yeah, where's like the 10 pellet that spawns here? Or it's like the bigger ones. They, they, they should be here by now. Maybe they only spawn on certain days. Uh, the, what do we have the least of? Yellows? No, we have the least reds. So we want yellows and red Pikmin to get these things. There we go. And then we kill the big bulb orb. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna red spray this for the bulb orb. I don't care. Noice. Who's it gonna go to? The reds. That's totally fine. And I want a few more of these to go to yellow Pikmin. Especially the yellow ones. Holy shit, I'm actually building up my Pikmin numbers to be, like, somewhat big for once. I know. It's wild. We're, we're, we're entering my wild era, thanks. Okay. 46 reds, 39 yellows, 39 blues. Alright. Well, any nectar around, actually? Oh, wait, aren't there eggs, like, on top of this thing? Yeah, there are. Oh, we have all the primary colors again. It's just like, it's just like Pikmin 1. But not- oh, come on, my tights, really? At least there's purple spray. No, guys, guys, get back. Let's stop, please. Guys, oh no. <laughs> Please. <laughs> chill, chill. Okay. Uh, can I- can we get that spray? Oh. Oh, oh shit. I forgot to- ah, uh, it's fine. <laughs> I don't think we can get that other spray, though. Uh, yeah, I got a lot of those. So we have tons of primary colors of Pikmin. Most of them are flowers. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna look around for... more and more stuff. I thought there was like a flower over here. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's only like the day one stuff. No, Pikmin, come on. Just stop being dumb. 
I don't think I really have enough time to go and kill more stuff and bring it back. I might just want to go to Sunset here. Yeah, I, th I think we have enough Pikmin to beat the game. Alright, to Sunset we go. Oh, I want to see how many Pikmin we gain. What? <laughs> how do we still go down in reds and blues? I guess we sacrificed so many to make some of those white Pikmin. But we went from 2 to 62 whites, and I think that's worth. Gained over 130. That is easily the most I've ever grown in one day. But more spam! Do you love bargains? Do you like designer items at cut rate prices? Then come learn how to pinch a polka from your favorite Hockatate radio station! No, thank you. Okay, now that we are actually prepared, <laughs> why don't we just spend this day doing above ground stuff in the Wistful Wild, getting pretty much all the above ground treasures that we can, hopefully. I don't know how long it's gonna take to get that weight, so let's just try to do that first and then go for the gates later. So, here we go. A hundred purple Pikmin. And they should pretty much all be flowers too, so this will go like the fastest it can. Yeah, nice. A hundred purple flower Pikmin. Let's get this bad boy and, and kill these bulborbs that are in the way. We don't want to take too long with this though, because this this can take like a while. No, guys, guys, get, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> You're all flowers, just chill. Oh, there we go. What? How is that efficient? Wouldn't it have been better to put some on the other side too? Oh. Oh yeah, this might take a while. I mean, it's literally right there. They only have to get into into here. But they are going at an absolute snail's pace. I'm just hoping that we can maybe get the, the poison walls down today too. You know, kill two birds with one stone. So we can come back the next day and just do white Pikmin stuff. I mean, uh, we can come back the next day, get the shit parts or, or the many treasures, the last two, and then the final cave. So I'm hoping for a 22 day, uh, 22 day let's play. That'll be, that'll be good. Oh my god, guys. I, I'm like, I'm like entertaining the snitch bug so he doesn't try and like swoop him up while they're carrying stuff. C can he even? Um, um, uh, is he even? I don't think he's even distracted by me. Maybe he is, maybe he isn't. All I know is that in not much longer they'll be out of his range. Are they stuck or is this like, how slow is this moving? No, they're not stuck, it's just... I mean, look at that. Aren't all those flowers so satisfying? Oh god, they're like, phasing into each other. They've just become like a hive mind. Oh, and they've got one one simple task. Yeah, I guess we'll, we'll have plenty of time to go get those walls done, I suppose. Does, uh, red spray c increase carrying speed? If so, I'm just gonna red spray them and then put them back on the object. Uh, no, it doesn't look like spraying the Pikmin actually makes them faster, so... Uh, we just gotta suffer for uh, not too much longer. And that, well, that'll do. That'll do, pig. Oh my god, okay, you know what? This, the doomsday apparatus, this is the most expensive treasure. I didn't realize it was worth this much, but this is easily, right? 3,000 is easily the most expensive treasure, at least up till this point. All right, now we put all the purples away and we only bring out white Pikmin for the next little segment here. Oh, wait, actually, no, because we need to kill things, because everything has respawned now. Um, that in mind, we don't need purples. We're gonna need blue Pikmin to deal with the water-based threats, so probably about, like, 30 of them should be good. Right. And then the rest, we'll bring out six, you know, just all the white Pikmin that we have. This can't go horribly wrong, right? <laughs> right? Okay, Bobo was a dead, fun. Let's get everybody flowered. Alright, I think that's it. Guys got the rocks. Guys, get off the rocks, thank you. Uh, we're gonna have to deal with you. Alright, fine. Come here. Come here. No, come, come, come here. Get up, get up, get up! Nice! Nice! Huge! Alright, everybody, off. Off the corpse. We go. We go. 92 Pikmin. We have a job to do today. And that job involves swarming all these bulb orbs and killing them fast. Did the Gatling Grink respawn? I mean, I think it... 
did, right? Everything else is respawn. Although there's no... Oh wait, the bridge has been broken, what? Uh oh. Bad news bears, this is bad. Let's get some nectar, because apparently those bulborbs deflowered. Oh god, deflowered some of our Pikmin. No, kill it, no. Oh my god, my tights, my tights, please. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, they're really just running everywhere. Okay, guys, 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 guys. <laughs> Fuck, I just want some nectar. Oh, come on, give me nectar. Give me nectar. Give me nectar. Okay, well then the blues actually do have like a real purpose besides this combat. We gotta, gotta go in. Build the bridge, and we'll get the white centered on the other gate, I suppose? Because there's two gates we actually get, have to get done right now. Uh, no, come on. On its face, on its face, on its face. Don't kill the blue, please! Thank you! Guys, quickly, quickly. Get out, get out. Get. Okay. All the blues are working on that. We'll keep that one guy over there. And then Cho Cho will go and have, be working on the other poison gate in the meantime. Oh shit, Hermit Cromad, don't love this for us. Oh goodness, nope, 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 nope. We're just giving past you, goodbye. Oh shit, oh shit, Sheerwigs, and luckily White Pikmin are super duper fast. Hey, that armored cannon beetle uh, larva hasn't respawned, nice. Oh, but the creeping chrysanthemum, oh wait, you know what? We never killed that one, so it shouldn't be dead. But what we want is this gate. And we're just going to red spray them so they get this done lickety split. And you know what? I don't even think we have to get that other gate. We might we might only need this one. Yeah, this area actually connects too. I guess we'll see, huh? Wow, they're getting that done fast. And those are the last two parts. One of them is in like that bulb over, I think. We'll like purple spray it to kill it. And then just like the mushroom and the thing. As long as we get both of those ship those items back today, we we might actually finish on day 21 instead of day 22. I uh, think about it. Okay, yeah, we, we'll we'll see though. We'll see what we can do. Hey, hey, buddy. Yeah, it's in you. So we're just gonna do that. We're just gonna we're just gonna do that. Okay, nice, nice. Oh, no, no. Ah, no, I got a few of them. All right, I'll kill you, buddy. Since you want to be a jerk. Since he wants to be a jerk, he dies. You, you die for your jerkiness, friend. Okay, nice. Now we just get this treasure. No, get get the treasure, thank you. Get off of that. Don't, don't bring back the blue pellet. Don't, don't bring back. It's going like at the same rate. Or maybe like a little bit faster. I need to get the, them off the blue pellet. Nice, nice, huge. Wait, wait, aren't they going back to where the Cromad was? No, 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 we need to hold off, we need to hold off. Well, we'll get the treasures in a second, but we need to go back and kill the Cromad, and let's get everybody reflowered. Oh, yep. <laughs> we found the final cave, and my pick run are breaking... They're breaking nectar egg sacks. Perhaps you will find Louie in here, and yet my CPU is on edge. Ludicrous danger awaits. Beasts lurk at the bottom of the deepest, darkest, most foul, sinister, horribly vile pit. Do you still wish to enter? Of course you do. Courage is our true treasure. Uh huh. Yeah, sure. Yeah. That's what I've. That's that's what I've been telling myself this whole time. Okay. And the mushroom, which apparently needs to be dug out of the ground. All right. Only ten can get that, so we're going to bring these two back at the same time, baby them. And then, once we get back, immediately swap out to our Pikmin numbers, try to get a full squad of like, you know, 20 each. Oh wait a minute, no, this isn't the direction of the Cromad, this is just back over the bridge, which we have now completed, yay! We won't even have to get that, that, uh, wall done. Okay, get all of our Pikmin and Olimar. Oh, oh, we can do this. 20, 21 days, boys, for the, the whole game. That's pretty good, considering I've never beat the game before. <laughs> And I have no frame of reference as to whether or not that's actually good. But you know what? It's good for me. It'd be my first completion. And let me put these blues away. Yep. I'll just get all the extra Pikmin and put them away. Oh, we got a nut! We got a nut! The Seed of Greed. And... The Mushroom. We got the anti-hiccup fungus. Hell yeah. That is the final above ground treasure in the, the wistful wild. And you know what? I actually had a thought just now. And that thought is... 
I think I'm gonna make this a 22 day let's play because what I want to do is go and finish out any remaining Piclopedia entries and we won't be able to do that if we start the final cave right now, you know, we're just going into the end game right now. So I think what I'll do is I'm just gonna go and we're going to, we're going to skip ahead to sunset. What a day. <laughs> what a day. We just became uber rich today. No Pikmin gain, but lots of money earned. Lately, I've been getting a ton of mail from a strange person selling designer items at cut-rate prices. It sounds like a deal. Should I send them your bonus check? Uh, uh, uh... <laughs> Olimar, you need to get home quick. We should have made this a 21 day let's play. Oh, I don't even think we clicked on the cave, but now... <laughs> yeah, the, the dream den, the final cave of Pikmin 2. And our final destination next time. But before we go, Piclopedia stuff. This is the Raging Long Legs, and it is weird looking, but not as scary looking as, as BD to me. This was the se the segmented crobster. Oh, like a lobster, but like a craw craw. Yeah. And good old water wraith. Uh, look at it being all menacing. Why is this so blurry? <laughs> I can barely see what's happening. This was the giant <laughs> bread bug, yes, very, very appropriately named. And we have found pretty much most of the foliage. I don't know what these are. And as well as we have most of the enemies too. Also, I don't think they changed the names of the, the Wallies from the other word to, to Wally Hops. I, I, you know, that the one word is a slur, but I think they did it because the European versions of the games Wait, what's happening here? I, I accidentally clicked the thing and went over to the treasure hoard. You've collected the Nature's Candy series, avant-garde veggies for modern gourmets? Oh. Okay. I guess. I'm in the I'm in the Piclopedia here, but if I press right, I can go to the treasure hoard. Sales is sales pitch. Human or desire knows no limits. Some things can never be known or understood, and no researcher, no matter how supreme, will ever tire of consuming this thing. It contains a mystic flavor born in the cosmos itself, and is said to change flavor as it's eaten. What? Sales pitch? So Olimar has notes about every single treasure he's collected, and so does the robot? <laughs> is he describing why each thing is worth what they're worth to Hakatations? Okay, I guess, whatever. Right, but as I was trying to say, the reason why they changed it from the, the other thing to Wally Hops is because they have always been Wally Hops in the European versions of the games, like the PAL versions and stuff. And, um, yeah, they're just going for, like, brand consistency, I believe, and, and same with the wall pulls. So that's, that is the real reason why they changed it. But obviously also because of the other thing. I want to know about the Antenna Beetle and why they can call Pikmin. Like, what the, what's their whole deal? The Antenna Beetle, or the Mesmeri Rayo, Rayo Contra, of the Kettlebug family. This creature is able to control the Pikmin by way of the peculiar frequency of its roar, but its only objective seems to be defensive in nature, as it stops Pikmin from attacking and forces them to run away. This beast prefers humid, dimly lit environments and has been known to inhabit empty and discarded containers. For this reason, it's wise to thoroughly ventilate any specimens that are recovered. Lifting off with one of these creatures in the hold can lead to a rupturing of the specimen during decompression, resulting in an explosive mess. <laughs> I'm guessing they found that out the hard way. What the frick is happening with the biology of the Carinian Dirigibug and why can't it just spawn bomb rocks? The Carinian Dirigibug, or the Flotillum Circus Maximus, of the Dirigibug family. This creature floats effortlessly through the air using gas-filled balloons. Both its appearance and its nature are antagonistic, and it is the only variant of its species in this ecosystem. It may be best to consider the possibility that it somehow wandered into this ecosystem from an entirely alien one. I mean, it looks just wacky, even for the Pikmin series. Positive proof does not exist at this point, but that is how uh, the creature is currently classified. Okay. Let me know about the Gatling Groink. The Gatling Groink, or the Megalo me Megaplod, me Megaplod Calibursi of the Unknown Family. This beastly predator's aggressive ejection of high-speed projectiles make it one of the most fearsome creatures in the ecosystem. Its body seems to comprise of both biological and mechanical components and represents one of the most evolutionarily advanced specimens ever observed. The chamber within its torso gives it rapid-fire biopellet launch capabilities. What appears to be a tail fin is in fact the base of its counterweight, an ammunition cylinder. What? <laughs> no, what? <laughs> and I like how we're seeing its fin as it talks about that too. 
It's, it's almost like it knows I'm reading this. So immobilizing this appendage will prevent the groink from attacking, at least in theory. Can confirmation of this suspicion remains elusive, as nobody has volunteered to test it. And that's kind of it for all the regular enemies of the game. I wonder if there are any, um, interesting ones we could find in, like, the bosses, maybe? That I haven't read? Yeah, I mean, not really well a couple so i want to read about the bread bug it's it's a giant freaking bread bug uh the pansaurus gigantus of the bread bug family this gargantuan species of the greater bread bug family has a torso so perfectly square that it almost seems like it was formed in a mold for a brief period after birth the giant bread bug competes for food with smaller bread bugs but upon reaching maturity it seeks out much larger prey this is the primary reason that two species with similar feeding habits can coexist in the same habitat. Hordes of Pikmin appear to pose the only plausible threat to this massive creature's life. Damn. I also want to know about the manet legs. Like, why, why, why is this machine thing here? The manet legs, or the Pseudo-Arachnia Nerevonia, of the Arachnorb family. This species of the Arachnorb family fuses with machinery at a crucial point in the maturation process, giving it the ability to fire energy bursts from the launcher beneath its orb orbicular torso. However, the man at legs itself is not in control of this weapon. Instead, the mechanical portions of its structure appear to automatically acquire and attack targets. The man at legs has a gentle disposition, and as a member of the Arachnorb species, it has no natural enemies. It is particularly difficult to understand why the species would develop such awesome offensive capabilities, leading to rumors among the scientific community that it was the machinery that approached the arachnorb and proposed a symbiotic relationship. What do you mean the scientific community? Have you brought this research back to the Hawketations already? Like, what? Are you sending, like, radio signals back to them? Have they been studying the things as you've gone about the journey? Or do you mean just you and, and the president? <laughs> uh, we have to read about the Water Wraith. The Amphibio Sapiens of the Unknown Family. All that is known about this creature stems from a few sightings deep underground. All reported sightings feature the same core set of details, a giant viscous form with a clear hazy sheen not unlike hard candy. One theory holds that it may be the ectoplasmic incarnation of a kind of psychic phenomenon, but as is usually the case with such theories, it is very difficult to prove. All witnesses report being suddenly overcome with fear upon sighting the creature, approaching a state of panic and near insanity. In fact, every report contains an inordinate amount of extremely vague, details, which has led to suspicions that exhaustion and fear have caused some simple natural phenomenon to be viewed as a living creature. Damn. So this thing just drives Hakutation to madness. Wild. And finally, the last thing that interests me here is the Raging Longlegs. The Raging Longlegs are the Pseudo-Arachnia fur Furiendus? Fur furiendus? It's probably furry, because they're like, they're furry. Of the Arachnor family. Arachnorms boast a wondrous biological composition with a silicon-based exoskeleton and innards coated with malleable heavy metals. However, much about these creatures remains a mystery as specimens regularly explode when they are dissected. What do you mean regularly? Do sometimes they're just not? I would hate that. I would hate to see these in the world if I was a tiny little hawketation, just like the corpses of them. These explosions produce scorching flames that completely melt all internal organs, leaving us with a disappointing lack of information on the inner workings of the species. We must await the development of new dissection processes and more specialized research before we can better understand this enigmatic creature. However, the following observation notes have been recorded. Appears to be leveling terrain for some unknown purpose. Location of eyes and ears not readily apparent. Freezing a specimen may yield new research opportunities. So what, are they just gonna like gang up on it and just <laughs> douse it in purple spray until it like suffocates and is just trapped in rock forever? I don't know. I don't really know what he means by scientific community or... When he's talking about like, like, many have tested, like who the fuck is he talking about? It's unclear, but all I do know is that we're now at the end of this episode, because this episode is almost two hours long. But yeah, anyways, that's been it for this episode, and I think we're coming across, like, the end of the game. I mean, obviously all that's left is the final cave, the Dream Den. So, we're only looking at two, three episodes more max? Really? Not that many. This, this let's play definitely came and went. I've been flip-flopping it with Satisfactory, but even then it's only been, like, the better part of, like, a month and a half since we you know, started all this. All I can say is I am excited to <laughs> never fucking play this game again. Oh, if I play Pikmin 2 again in my lifetime, it'll be way too damn early. But anyways, I've been Rara. Thank you all very much for watching this episode of Pikmin 2. And uh, yeah, in the next one, we'll start the final cave. See ya.